Uh, the vision for the beginnings of MCVI started actually prior to my move to South Florida. And it became apparent to me that in the vascular space in particular, that the care of vascular disease was actually very fragmented. You had cardiologists taking care of the heart, uh, vascular surgeons taking and predominantly taking care of uh, vascular disease, atherosclerosis in the uh, arteries and legs. You had the physicians taking care of hypertension, stroke prevention and in cardiology, neurology, uh, nephrology, trying to uh, deal with the renovascular hypertension and kidney failure. Um, it seemed to me that it was really one, one disease, one problem affecting the patient, but our medical infrastructure was really fragmented and separated. And you had physicians of different disciplines not really communicating with each, with each other around the patient. I began to develop the idea of patient-centered care, number one, because it was a much better way of how atherosclerosis should be treated. And number two, um, the multidisciplinary nature of this, to try and develop a collaborative model uh, of, of uh, care where all the different disciplines were not only talking to each other, but working with each other uh, towards the patient's best interest. And I actually uh, put those thoughts down in a three-letter paper uh, a white paper of sorts uh, that was sent to the leadership of Baptist Hospital um, after being approached in the D.C. area. Uh, but that's in general how the idea developed. Um, the leadership at Baptist kind of liked the idea, and so it became a place that um, that we could start to develop it. I very much recognize what uh, Dr. Katzen just explained about the change over the last 35 years because we were there from the beginning 35 years ago, and since then, indeed, the world has changed, but also Philips as a company has changed. And I think very much inspired by this partnership where we have gone from a large holding conglomerate to a focused company focused on healthcare and really from focus on technology and products to a focus on solutions. And it's exactly as what Dr. Katzen said, it starts with the patient. And, and we have been inspired over all these years to also put the patient at the center in everything we do and really look more for solutions on how we can help customers like uh, uh, MCVI to treat patients better. And over those years, we've also gone from, in IGT, from focus on purely an X-ray provider to a provider of complete solutions in image biotherapy, where we now include devices and, and, and ultrasound and look at those, those solutions. But it is... Really, and that's also probably why this partnership works so well, because we share this same vision and it's all about driven by a purpose, how we can uh, help patients better. Um, but that's also uh, how it has inspired us to change as a company. And we basically have completely reinvented ourselves as a company. When you really look at, the, at what's happened, and what this whole field has done for patients. Um, you know, in, when, we, when we started, if you had an acute myocardial infarction, you were in the hospital for a week or 10 days, and then you went home to rest for three or four weeks, all right? Now, when you have an acute heart attack, you're back at work the next day. You know, you might be in the hospital one night or two nights and with an angioplasty and a stent. And that happens to be one of the more dramatic things. But, um, but uh, you know, that, that, that you know, it, it, it's probably the most uh, uh, visible explanation, but whether it's cancer, whether it's inflammatory disease, whether it's blockages of arteries anywhere, whether it's the treatment of stroke, um, um, when you think about things that in many ways would be considered miracles um, compared to where we were before, if you, if you ask somebody in 1970 to imagine these things, there were only a handful of people who could, and, and we were trying to imagine those things. For me, innovation is not only about R&D. It starts, as Dr. Katzen said, also with truly understanding your customer needs. And that's, if you have a trusted relation, you really can work so close together, then you can co-create complete new solutions. And there, MCVI, of course, has the clinical leadership and the vision this has helped us to better understand uh, needs for new procedures and a whole new approach. And with that, we had the technology leadership and, and also uh, uh, looking at the broad solutions, not only looking at a single modality like X-ray, but really looking at the complete solution. 
and together we co-created those solutions. And that has been really uh, a fantastic partnership that we are very, very grateful for because it has brought so many new breakthroughs. If we look at the innovation for the procedures that you mentioned, uh, but this is still ongoing, where minimally invasive really offers new opportunities for patients to be treated that could not be treated before or have a much more effective treatment. If you look, indeed, it started with radiology, but also in cardiology, but today, even in the treatment of stroke or in oncology, where we now also have a very close collaboration on new tumor ablations uh, that offer complete new opportunities also for patients. I think people will be living longer. That's the other problem. And what we're experiencing now, five years ago, uh, we predicted that we had way too many beds in the hospital. And we began this initiative to actually shrink the number. Everybody was saying, we're not going to need as many hospital beds. Everybody's doing well, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so then along comes a pandemic. But beyond the pandemic, if you look and peel back the onion on that, um, the, the demographics of our worldwide population is that people are living longer and they're able to get diseases that previously they wouldn't have gotten because they would have passed away earlier. And so we're exactly the opposite now. We're trying to add as many beds as we can. And even though everything's shifting to the ambulatory space, the hospital is becoming a place where more, more patients are being treated and more sicker, more and sicker patients are being treated. So the level of acuity is just going up at a place like where MCVI is at Baptist Hospital. And uh, we wind up with a shortage of beds. So I think um, I think it's a little bit of a conflicting yin and yang uh, movement that's going on. One is um, this movement towards uh, less invasive therapy still needs to drive us and Phillips moving forward. Whatever it is, whatever the treatment, whatever the status quo is today, we have to improve on it in 10 years, make it less invasive, make it either make it go. Now there are other movements to make it go away if you treat the disease, you know, fundamentally. So that's going to be important, but also this extra look at what's going on in the ambulatory space and collecting healthcare providers like us, who traditionally had only been worried about what it's going to be in the hospital, are going to have to look at healthcare delivery in a much broader way than we are today. So much has changed and look at how patient care has, has developed. I think it's very difficult to even imagine how it will be 35 years from now, but what, what I'm very confident about that MCVI will still be around and Phyllis will still be around. And I'm very hopeful that we still are very strong partners and that in the next 35 years, we've been able to develop even more and better care to, in the way, as, as Barry just explained, it will be even more automated, uh, more ambulatory settings, uh, more efficiency, um, but certainly minimally invasive treatment will, will be there because it offers such a, a huge benefit for patient and for the whole healthcare system.